Okay, and welcome to Amazon Spy. So let's just uh, first of all remind ourselves what Amazon is. So Amazon is this great big shopping cart and e-commerce e-tailer. How big are they? Uh, well, according to Alexa, which they happen to own actually, uh, they did um, $19.17 billion uh, last year. Uh, to give you an idea of the scale of what they are up to, they have 20,700 employees. Yeah. Uh, traffic reach, they're pretty high. They're number 11 in the whole of the web. According to Alexa, number 5 in the US particularly. Um, and they have uh, over a million sites linking back in. Actually, that's quite small when you consider it's probably all the affiliates as well. What does it mean? Uh, it basically means that they have uh, or had in January, uh, almost a hundred, a hundred million people. Sorry, a hundred million people uh, coming to their website, to their store. Ninety-two thousand in that month, eighty-seven in that month, and their normal plateau is seventy-five thousand. Which I presume it's going back there. This is probably sort of Christmas and January sales kind of things going on. But uh, you know, even seventy-five million uh, visitors a month. Uh, is pretty respectable and you know it's on the rise okay so that's what Amazon is um, probably no surprises there uh, this is what Amazon looks like now when most people want to uh, you know sell something via Amazon uh, as an affiliate or whatever uh, you know they would tend to do it with incidental traffic which basically just means you know the, the traffic that's coming along is going to be uh, you know, going there for something else for a bit of content, and they might happen to see an ad, or the product might be mentioned in the content, uh, you know, with a text link or something like that. Uh, but basically, it's kind of incidental traffic. They didn't really come there looking for it. So what we're really talking about here is not that. We're talking about buyer keywords. So buyer keywords are when somebody actually types in, uh, you know, something specific like a model number, and they're actually looking to buy. You know, they're, they're looking to do a price comparison or a stock or just find out where they can get it or just find a specific detail about it just before they buy. We can find out what's worth, uh, you know, having from Amazon themselves who kindly tell us. So, you know, we can just search for whatever it is. We can go uh, into a department. So let's go into... Uh, I probably want to go into that one. Let's go into that one. Uh, and then we can sort by uh, relevance, uh, which is you know the closest thing that we ask for, or we can search for uh, popularity. So these are the most popular, um, you know, dog clickers, uh, you know, that they have. Uh, the other thing that we can do is that we can uh, look for uh, Amazon bestsellers, uh, you know, generally. So if we just find uh, bestsellers, I don't know which one we're going to start with, and then we're just going to pick other bestsellers, and now we can look for uh, pets. I guess it is. Yeah, there we are. Pet supplies, and uh, yeah, this is their um, you know top 100 list of, of stuff. And let's say that, that we see this. I mean, it's not obviously a good choice because it's too cheap, but uh, let's just stick with. Um, yeah, you know, with this as an example. So let's you know, say so, you know we could we could affiliate this product. It was number was it seventeen I think it was in the in the top sellers. So you know they're selling a lot of these um apparently on Amazon. Uh if we look at the rank uh yeah it's number seventeen in the whole of pet supplies and uh, it's number one in pet supplies dogs grooming. Okay so uh I actually have a little calculator of my own which tells us how many units that actually is but uh, I haven't got that open at the moment. But they're selling a lot of these. It's number 17 in the whole of that category and number one in the su in the sub sub category. So, you know, in theory we could we could sell this, but you know, and it's got a brand and everything. If we put up a, you know, website uh, you know, dedicated in some way to that. Now, I'm not saying, you know, which way to do that, whether it's, you know, should be a micro niche site or review site or whatever. But uh, you know, we put it in a, and we, we you know, we see what's going to happen. Now, if we try and go for this uh, you know, actual product name d and description here that we actually got from Amazon, we can see that the number one result is actually Amazon. Um, so, and, and number two actually. Um, and, and there. Uh, and then Sears and eBay get a look in there. Um, and then about dog training come up. And Facebook have got a note apparently. 
Okay, who's this by? It's done by Deals and Offers. So somebody's got a site and it is ranking, you know, with their Facebook store, basically, this is. Um, anyway, let's get rid of that. So we, we can see the competition for this is, is you know, pretty pretty fierce. And if we did, a, you know, a um, our own site or our own page or our own promotion for this, we, you know, whatever it is, whether it's video marketing, article marketing, whatever, you know, we're competing in terms of organic search with, you know, Amazon themselves, you know, all these other people uh, in here. So it wouldn't be terribly likely, um, you know, that we would win that battle. So we want to find some other keywords, some variation keywords related to what they're looking for. Ideally, we want a product variation target instead. And uh, nothing is particularly standing out here. Uh, they've added a little bit of... Um, extra product description in there so let's just drill back a bit try that okay so um, small is the word that's come up there and let's do the brand okay so that's the cover we've kind of invented that are coming out from the results we've got just go back to that where we've drilled back down. You know, there's not a lot of other descriptions for this. What we're not seeing, unfortunately, is any other kind of model variations. Okay, so we could we could possibly go to these pages and try and find some more. Get some variations there. Now, obviously, we don't know you know any search volumes for these. We know this is it's a popular product. What we don't know is how people will describe it. You know, or, or what the other you know variations for it are just picking the ones we've got you know i don't think we're going to have a winner here but you never know what we would do is we would take you know one of the keywords and we'd see whether we were competing with amazon for that word and you know we are there uh and that's um that's a very broad one but let's see if you know that happens so amazon are advertising there but they're not in the top top ones uh, but they are there. Okay, so again, we'd be competing with Amazon themselves, um, and presumably the other competition might be fierce as well. So apparently this is probably the model number or something. I don't know how anyone would possibly know the model number, but if they did, what would happen? So Amazon California, uh, I've come up, uh, I have a friend on Amazon with his shops come up there, uh, Amazon advertising there, uh, etc. So we can see proving competitive uh, and that we probably wouldn't have a lot of success you know with this with this product advertising this product but that's really the point is that we need to know that um, probably too competitive for us to, to do and obviously what we're looking for is the gem which is um, you know not as competitive but you know we'll still have some buyer keyword uh, searches so you can see the process and what we've had to do, do and you know it, it's obviously going to be quite intensive if we had a long list of keywords so what um, uh, Amazon spy does is we just paste the keywords in from wherever you get your keywords and then we just click the spy button now it's going to go at a speed which is not going to get us banned from um, from Google so you know we could go a bit quicker but we don't want to get banned so we're just going to do it at a speed that we know, so we don't have to worry about proxies. If we use proxies, they might be in all sorts of weird countries, and then the results we get back, you know, might not be from Amazon.com aimed at the USA market, and if that's where we're trying to, uh, you know, sell to, then really we want to know what the USA market is doing. Now, you can see what it's doing is it's separated into two boxes called good results and bad results, and at the moment there's... Oh, there is one good result. Well, uh, anyway, the bad results, it's put these down here, showing that the Amazon themselves are... Uh, you know, competing on this on the first page, and it's probably too competitive. We have found one result already, uh, which we could get a look in for, uh, which Amazon are not uh, aiming at. And, and as it's an ebook, we in theory we could also even do a Kindle book maybe uh, about this. So potentially that's one. But what it's doing is it's finding if there are any other opportunities, uh, you know, like this available. Oh, let's find some more. Yeah, okay. So the, the long that's a whole long word. So if anybody wanted that. Uh, you know, we could go for that. Obviously, that's a very specific title. Star Mark Clicker Dog Training Aid Blue with Orange Clicker. But if we had that as a, a title, 
uh, on a you know on a post somewhere on a blog or something, then obviously Google, for instance, would know that we were very specifically, uh, you know, product related. Um, again, you know, I'm very unlikely that anyone actually would search for that, but again, it would give Google a huge clue uh, that we had a product for sale and we had the spec. And if anybody was looking for anything like Starmark spec, we would probably get a big look in there because we've obviously got, uh, you know, dimensions there uh, of, uh, you know, of that product. Okay, a small uh, clicker has come up as well, so that's another thing. It's come up as dog mark. Is that, is that why I put in my thing? Anyway, we got it from somewhere. Maybe dog marks a rival brand, so, you know, we may have discovered a rival brand to the um, star mark is the dog mark so you know that's good uh, it's still something we can sell we can check if um, Amazon uh, uh, you know sell a dog mark clicker let's have a look uh, now the other thing I should have done actually is you know when we were looking at the product uh, you know if there were other things uh, you know suggested or other things mentioned in the reviews or you know these other uh, products here uh, so the clicker duo that should have gone into my uh, you know alternative product that we could have had there they do their own so clicker is another another brand so it's a competing brand but again you know it could it's given us a lead you know maybe we can't get number 17 with the star mark one but maybe we can uh, you know get in with the other brands like clicker and, and dog mark which we've just found so you know we can find the keywords you know like this and if there's anything mentioned in the reviews or anything like that, uh, you know, sometimes they mention alternatives or they had another brand that wasn't quite as good or something like that. So, you know, you might find all sorts of, uh, you know, goodies in there. Anyway, dog mark clicker, let's see if that's actually a, a flyer. So the dog mark one isn't actually one that um, uh, Amazon themselves sell, but we could SEO optimize for dog mark and then actually sell them uh, the star mark because uh, they're pretty cl close name and obviously they're, you know, their clickers. Again, we've got no real idea of the volume, but we know if somebody's looking for a dog mark clicker, it's the brand and the model. So, you know, it's pretty specific. Um, somebody's, you know, spoken to a friend or something, and they said, you know, oh, who makes your dog clicker? Um, and they say dog mark. So they go and search for dog mark, they find your thing. Uh, you know, you haven't got a dog mark for sale, but you're selling them a star mark, uh, which is, you know, probably close enough um, for jazz. But obviously, you know, reason why Amazon themselves aren't you know, advertising dog markers because they don't stock it. But on the other hand, they're not marketing for it either. Anyway, the point is, we found the opportunity, uh, you know, from this uh, research. So that it's um, done the words um, that I had, and we have, you know, a few in there. Now, clicker training is not really a product, so we'd discount that one, really. But we can see we've got some good ones, and we've weeded out the bad ones, right? So we know that even the um, the brand and the model number... Uh, and the D clicker, you know, it wasn't going to work. And you know, neither of these other ones, uh, Starmark Obedience Training, even that was going to be too, too competitive because um, Amazon themselves are going for it. Obviously, there's a caveat in that, you know, even if Amazon aren't going for it, it still may be too competitive. But if Amazon themselves are going for it, then it's almost certainly too competitive for buyer keyword um, stuff. Now, obviously, we can go for organic keyword stray traffic um, as normal. But the whole point about buyer keywords is that we know that they're ready to buy, and we know exactly what they're looking for, uh, and, you know, we want to do something about that. But, you know, if we put up a, a, a site of any kind of, you know, of the types of sites that we can do, or video marketing, whatever it is, then, you know, we'd be competing directly with Amazon if we were doing the stuff down here. Whereas if we do the stuff up here, we know that we've got, a, you know, at least a, a, a chance, because Amazon themselves on it. And as I say, the competition may be very fierce, and you can do your normal SEO kind of analysis on that, but this is giving you the starting block. So this is really what Amazon Spy does. It's all it does. It's very simple. But as you can see, we haven't had to make any thoughts or decisions about this. It's just doing it for us. Now let me just show you one other thing. So let's just say, so let's say that those three were good. Now actually only the first one's good, but let's just pretend the other three were good. Let's say we wanted to attack this market by promoting it with uh, video marketing. So all we need to do is just change this from Amazon to YouTube, run the spy again. Now this time actually I've got it good results and bad results. In, in this particular case it's actually going to be the other way around. Uh, because if there are video results then that means that it's good 
because it means that we can use video marketing. So apparently there is actually a video marketing already for small dog mark clicker. Um, so we could go in with our own video marketing uh, and do it. And also there is an opportunity with the star mark one as well, with the with the exact model number and the other one as well. So okay, so that we can get video results for all of those. So all of these are potential for video marketing, but in actual fact we knew that these last two weren't uh, flyers. I just put them in because I just wanted to see if they were uh, being video marketed. And we can see that they are being video marketed, but you know, mainly they've got Amazon competition, so we're not interested. But this top one, small dog mark clicker, uh, you know, does have uh, video marketing, and it's something that um, Amazon are not uh, competing for uh, themselves. If we just put the, um, you know, the result in, we can actually see what the competition is. So dogmark.net, that's not the manufacturer, I presume. Uh, somebody trying to get close to it. Um, there's an article, uh, some stuff, and here are the video results uh, that we found. Uh, in fact, there's one on YouTube and on one on eHow. So, in an actual fact, they're not actually optimised for the the keyword that we specifically put because they're about clickers. Uh, Google decided that video marketing was relevant, but that because Google have decided that video marketing is relevant, it means that they accept videos as a legitimate content source so we know that we can do video marketing and there we go so that's supposed it yeah we have found an opportunity uh, in dog training in dog clickers now, you know not the best in the world because it's a very cheap product but you know the 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 star mark one is number 17 in the whole of amazon so we have to assume that they're selling quite a lot of them um, and if you can get a share of that using you know the dog mark uh, clicker keyword instead and you know that you can do it with uh, video marketing, then you know what's going to happen. We could also test if uh, easy articles are uh, in there with article marketing, if anyone's article marketing it. Uh, so let's just see if that's true or not. No, they're not. So this, uh, easy articles is free uh, yeah, for that as well. I hope you can see the potential of that and the time saving of that, but basically it means that we're not going for keywords that we've actually got no hope of getting as buyer keywords because we're competing directly with Amazon. So, you know, it, obviously finding the gems is, uh, you know, going to be far and few between, but it's going to be much quicker, uh, you know, with this. So, you know, where you get this list of keywords from, uh, you know, buyer keywords is, you know, something we can talk about another time. Okay, that's it. I'll see you then. Bye for now.